I'm begging you now at this moment because this is what the third video and I haven't got a response yet. You guys are starting to break my heart. I just need an answer. Please, 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 please. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Alright, I'm just playing. So today I'm going to be doing another makeup tutorial. I'll be using my Juvia's The Magic Mini. I've used this palette before, not on my channel, but these clothes in here are so bomb. So that's the palette that I'll be using today. And I'll also be using my crayon case just for like the browns and the neutral tones. So if you're interested in the look that I'm going to come up with, Stay tuned. Oh yeah, and don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. So I'm finished with this eye. I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye off camera and then I'll be right back. Alright guys, so one thing I noticed about these um, Juvia palette eyeshadows that wherever you place it is where it's going to stick. And I don't really like that about an eyeshadow because you can always tell where exactly you started your eyeshadow at. And you have to blend so freaking much. Lord have mercy. More than the norm, you have to play. But with this eyeshadow here, I don't know. It's, they have a funny formula about it. They have nice colors, but to blend it out is a headache. I just had to come tell you guys that because it's getting on my nerves. Alright guys, so I'm back. I finished my eye look. Um, I need to clean up right here. Let me get my while I'm talking to you guys. Yeah, so I finished my eye look for my um, wing. I went in with my Kat Von D. You know the little sample you get from Sephora tattoo liner. I went in with that one. And um, now I'm just cleaning up under my eye. Like I told you guys in my last video, I'm going to give my um, Fenty Primer, the soft matte. I'm going to give that one another try. So I'll be trying that one out of my video today. I guess I'll wear it longer than to see how I really like it. Right now I'm just cleaning up all the fallout from the Juvia's palette. Um, it has quite a bit of blowback, like when you're dipping your um, brush inside of the actual eyeshadow, but I guess it's, it's alright. It ain't something that made me want to throw a whole damn palette away, but whatever. Alright, now that I cleaned that up, I'm going go with my Fenty Soft Matte Primer and put it in my T-zone. I should 
to dry my face off after I use that white because now I don't know if I'm getting the real results of it. Okay, so that's dry now. I'm going to go in with my NARS Sheer Glow and Marquises. And let's get to work. The devil is always busy when I'm trying to record. I'm about to apply this foundation, guys, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, my foundation is all applied. I still think it look a little orange, but I got a comment on my last video that said it doesn't look orange. I wish more of you would leave me a comment down below so I can know. But so far, one person said that it doesn't look, you know, orange. It looks kind of orange here. I'm not going to lie to you guys, but I'm going to keep going ahead. And I'm going to go ahead and apply my concealer and my um contour. I got it right this time, y'all. My contour, and I'll be right back. So I said that I was going to blend this out and come right back. But... I had to come over here and tell you guys that Sephora be trying to get over. Oh my God. So I was looking into buying the new Anastasia and the new um, Urban Decay Foundation, right? So I went on Sephora and you know, I was looking it up. One of them was $50, one of them was $53. I'm like, okay, not too bad. But then I just so happened to go over to Ulta website. Tell me why both of them are on Ulta for $38. $38 compared to one being 53 and one being 50. You tell me what kind of scam Sephora trying to run. Why is it so much at Sephora and it's less at Ulta? And I don't wanna hear y'all little stupid little comments talking about, oh, because Sephora is a big brand chain store. So is Ulta. That's why the foundation is being sold there as well. I didn't say Walgreens or something like that. Ulta. It's another chain uh, brand store that sells high-end foundation and concealer and everything else you're looking for. But why is it so much more expensive at the phone Sephora? Y'all got the answers? Let me know in the comment. Because I'm really bothered by that. I don't understand why is it so much more at Dog on Sephora. Like, is Sephora giving a giveaway, a giveaway with your foundation or Something besides the points you get for being a doggone member. I don't know. I don't understand. I think they trying to get over me personally. I'm just saying. Because us as makeup lovers, we so quick to go to Sephora and pick up everything. Clearly. And just bypass Ulta and be like, uh, I go there so I don't find what I'm looking for at Sephora. I think I'm going to start going to Ulta first and then go to Sephora because... Seem like Ulta had the best deals, but we so stuck on Sephora as a brand that we go there first instead of going to Ulta. I'm going to Ulta first. Y'all can keep going to Sephora. Sephora is trying to take all your money. Ulta got it at an affordable price. So I just wanted to share that little piece of information with you guys because I know most of y'all went to Sephora, paid that 50 or $53, whichever foundation you picked up, you paid 50 or $53 for it when I mean, you could have went to Ulta and got it for $38. 38 Let that sink in. All right, guys. So I'm going in my banana powder. And like I always say, I'm just going to press and wipe it away because I don't like to bake. All right, guys. So now that I'm done with my face, I'm going to go in with my NYX um, eyeliner in Jet Black. I'm going to place that in my waterline. And I'll smoke it out with the um, dark purple that I have, like right in this area. And then I'm gonna go in with my cotton candy lashes in the style Asia, and I'll be right back. All right guys, so I went ahead and applied my lashes. Again, these are the cotton candy lashes in the style India. Um, I went ahead and I applied the um, NYX liner here and smoked it out. I actually did the purple and the navy blue. I just did the navy blue like out here on the outer corner. And I also brought the little color I have here. What is the name of these colors? I'm just, you know what? Never mind. But never mind. Um, <laughs> I brought this color here down in the inner tear duct at the bottom. 
And yeah, so for a highlight, I'm gonna go in with in the contour palette, the um, same one I contoured my face with, and I'm gonna use this highlighter here. I'm not gonna use the um, crayon case one today. I wanna get this one to try. I never, never touch this doggone highlighter in here. Well, that's probably why, cause nothing show up. And I mean, nothing. All right, guys, so let me know if y'all can see this, cause I can see it a little bit, but it's not like popping. So for my nose, I'm just gonna use my finger cause clearly this brush is not cutting. Okay, so I can see it on my nose when I apply it with my finger. Maybe it's just this brush, I don't know, whatever. So I'm gonna go in with my NARS Velvet Lip Pencil and line my lips. I'm going in with my same trusty lip gloss that y'all still haven't given me a name for. Nobody, nobody even dropped a hint, nothing. Nothing. I don't even know if y'all watching this video that far that y'all can see me asking y'all. Give me a name. Like, come on. Please, I'm begging you now at this moment because this is what, the third video? And I haven't got a response yet. You guys are starting to break my heart. I just need an answer. Please, 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 please. Let me go ahead and bring on Marie, y'all. That is my girl. I love her. Oh my god, I freaking love her. Tag her down below, y'all. So what she do? What she do? Listen. Every time she put on the shadow, she be like, "Oh, let me check it to make sure." But yeah. So this is the final look. I'm gonna go ahead with my Urban Decay All Night Sprayer. Sprayer. What? What am I talking about? <laughs> my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. It set my face. You know what, guys? I was looking at it, and I'm actually going with Matt um, Runway Hit. Oh, I used to always be saying this wrong. I used to be saying Hit the Runway, but it's Runway Hit, and I'm gonna add this on top just to see what it do. Ooh, that's kind of cute. All right, my gym. so this is the final look. Thank you guys for sticking around to the end. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and leave a comment down below on what you guys would like to see next, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.